Hey, this is Chad from Good Creative Tutorial. Today we're just going to go over a technique in using Adobe Illustrator to create some more advanced pie charts and graphs and things like that. Uh, just more interesting ways to present uh, statistical and numerical information. Uh, this is kind of a preview. We'll create something similar. Basically, there's a pie chart that's 3D. So it's how to create a 3D pie chart that has a slight uh, drop shadow as well as some transparent pieces, and they're also 3D. They're not just you know 2D kind of boring pie chart. So to get started go ahead and go to File New and in Adobe Illustrator just hit OK and I'm going to hide the artboard just so you can kind of see the workspace here. Um, the first thing we need to do is create the pie chart so if you click and hold onto the column graph tool and just drag down to pie graph tool or you can create if you want to do a bar graph, something like that, that could work too. Um, so for my example, I'm going to do a pie chart and just click and drag. And it comes up this little matrix here. And uh, you can also import uh, like an Excel spreadsheet, things like that. For this example, I'm just going to manually type in some numbers. So I'm going to type in 25, then tab, and do like 15. And let's say 25 and then 35. Alright, so I'll hit this check mark here and that applies those. Alright, so I can close that out. Uh, now we need to ungroup this, so go ahead and go to Object Ungroup and click Yes. Go to ungroup. Alright, and then let's add some color. So, if you notice, I can drag these away from each other because they're ungrouped. Um, Go ahead and click the swatches up here, and let's just add. Um, actually, I'm gonna get rid of. Let's make sure there's no border or stroke. So, for the fill, I'm just gonna make it kind of a blue, and this one, no border. So otherwise, you'll ha kind of have an edge to it when we create uh, it in 3D. So, I'm just gonna do a couple here something like and let's see ah, something like that alright so have some different colors here none of them have a border as you can see no stroke they'll have just different color fill um, so let's go ahead and make it 3D. So click and drag around all of them with the black selection arrow. And let's just go to Effect, 3D, and then Extrude and Bevel. If you click this preview check, it'll preview what it'll look like. Um, and you can move this little square here, and that will affect. And it gets kind of jumbled here, and we can fix it in a second. But. Um, Try to make the extrude depth a little bit larger for this example, just so we can, maybe not that much. Just so you can kind of see, and you can manually type it into, um, like 85, something like that. Uh, for the shading, I'm going to do diffuse shading, and I think that looks pretty good. Maybe move this up just a little bit more. Alright, then click OK. And you'll notice this one shouldn't be on top of that, so press the control left bracket or uh, command left bracket on the Mac. That way it'll put it behind, and then this blue one's already behind there. And this one needs to be way to the back, so control left bracket a couple times. Or you can go to object, arrange, you know, send backwards, send forward. Alright, so we have it back pieced together like so, but the idea of having it in 3D is that we can also pull it apart a little bit and so if you're doing some annual report or doing some presentation and you want to save it, place it into Photoshop later, save it as a JPEG or export it as a JPEG from here to use it in a PowerPoint or some kind of presentation. Um, the point is here we can pull some of these out and we can also make them transparent. So if I click this one in the front and go to Window, Transparency and bring the transparency down, maybe like 85, something like that. 
Maybe I'll do that for this one too. And then you can see through uh, to the other slices like that. And then all that's left is to add some uh, you know labels or whatever you want to do as far as that goes. Um, adding some text, some lines, or some numbers. Um, so that's creating a little bit more advanced pie charts. You can do the same thing uh, with different kinds of charts. Uh, just if you want to also want to add the drop shadow, all you have to do is just select it all, uh, go to effect, and then uh, stylize drop shadow. And the idea with the drop shadow, you want to do it somewhat uh, subtle. So I'm going to bring this down a little bit. Don't want to overdo a drop shadow. It's really easy to. So. Once you have the settings you like, hit OK, and then you have the final result. All right, so that's creating a more advanced pie chart, a 3D one. It's partially transparent with some added features. It makes it a little bit more visually interesting than just a 2D pie chart. Thanks.